Good morning. Uh, Sunday morning in the RV VHF contest day. And check this out. I, I wanted to show that I'm actually impressed. The amount of noise that I have for my solar on this trailer, this RV, uh, FTA's cutting right through it. Listen to the noise. All right. But FT8 can decode, look at this, can actually decode right through that noise. So when they say it's like what, 20 something dB below the noise floor, I mean, it cuts through a lot of noise. Um, that noise is excessive. And this is from my solar charge controller. I ran it on solar all day yesterday. And uh, so it's charging at full bore right now. Uh, but just the fact that FT8 works through that, if you have a noisy environment or you don't have a good receive, FT8 will still work through this kind of noise. And look, through that noise, I made contact. Uh, he's in Echo Lima 29, WB5 TUF. With this noise, look at this. It's cutting right through, look. Amazing. So <clears throat> I don't think it has anything to do with the radio. It has to do with the mode FT8. And uh, another reason why I would use FT8 is in a situation like this. Now, if I switch this, yes, if I switch the solar off, I'd probably hear a few more stations. But I got to tell you, it's 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 decoding a lot of stations through that noise. And for the FT8 mode, that definitely uh, has a benefit. If you're in an area with plasma TVs or you're in a hotel, uh, you know, a lot of electrical noise, FT8 can be a way to make contacts uh, with noise like that. So just wanted to show you that, 7.3.